the sound of protest over what was called overwhelming red tape in releasing more money to fight AIDS. In March of 1987, the group ACT UP took to the streets in New York City. They wanted the Food and Drug Administration to accelerate research into medications to combat AIDS. Shortly thereafter, the FDA announced it would shorten its drug approval process by two years. Twenty years later, a nonprofit organization has taken up the fight again, trying to streamline approaches to finding cures for diseases across government institutions, universities, and biotech industries. Washington, D.C.-based Faster Cures recently entered the virtual world of Second Life. Communications Director Cecilia Aradaza says she's excited. We can network with other key players in the health industry, connect with patients, brainstorm with health consumers. Regardless of where they are, we can pick brains of people who we normally don't interface with. Aradaza says Faster Cures is focused on shortening the time it takes to develop and distribute treatments for deadly and debilitating diseases. Faster Cures is a actual tank instead of a think tank. Currently, it takes 15 years to develop new medical treatments. That's just way too long for thousands of people who are diagnosed with a deadly disease today. They don't have 15 years. Greg Simon is Faster Cure's CEO. He says the list of systemic problems his group is committed to solving is long. There's a lack of collaboration. There's not data available. There's not good data available. People aren't trained to develop drugs out of basic research. Intellectual property disputes take a lot of time. Difficult to get funding at the right time in the right place. But tackling these problems means reinventing a long-standing culture at places like the National Institute of Health. Simon says grants at that institution are all too often awarded on the basis of caution instead of innovation, setting up a system he feels stymies progress towards new cures. Right now, people get a grant every year for promising very little progress because if they promise more progress, they're viewed as too ambitious. Yet Simon recognizes that a culture does not necessarily reflect reflect its components. Many people in the government are good people stuck in a bad system. The difficulty is that the system itself is built around a principle that limits its ability to be useful in curing diseases. Faster Cures' approach has been to identify successful nonprofits and use them as models, says Simon. You have to change the system by showing that other systems can work and spread that DNA around, so to speak. But even this approach will be a failure without patient involvement, for instance in clinical trials. Again, communications director Cecilia Aradaza. A lot of times patients do not realize that they hold the biggest stake in the healthcare system, but they are also the biggest driver of medical research. Educating patients is one of the key reasons why Faster Cures has come to Second Life. It is clear that SL can help alleviate fears over sharing digitized data, which is critical for clinical studies and often life-saving should a patient end up in a hospital far from their personal paper records. One thing we can do on Second Life is to really simulate what processes are in place if you were to share your electronic record. Here's what happens, here's who's looking at it. That's why the tech-savvy early adopter user base of SL is such a perfect fit for faster cures since they're more likely to understand their own critical role in curing diseases, says CEO Greg Simon. He says faster cures entry into the virtual world has no time limit since there are so many possibilities to explore. You can help people find a doctor. You can help people find patients if they are doctors or hospitals. You could have a whole section explaining why when you have a biopsy should you donate some of the tumor to medical research. What are the ethical issues? Faster Cures is located at the Nonprofit Commons in SL, a group of islands populated by not-for-profit advocacy organizations. It is, in real estate parlance, a desirable location. The NPC offers an already established vibrant social network because it draws a large pool of volunteers, nonprofit professionals, and curious individuals. This will surely make the road ahead less bumpy for the Faster Cures team. From Faster Cures headquarters in Second Life, I'm Drexter Dupree.